You know when you watch that movie, either you think it's really underrated or overrated and think it's really underappreciated, or you just love it because it's such a great amalgamation of cinema and storytelling. One of those films for me personally is the 2003 war ethic the last samurai starring tom cruise and ken watanabe this movie i was guarded as a pretty fine but underrated cruise movie so i watched it and i was blown away the last samurai is one of my personal favorite movies of all time but when you make that big understatement this is one of my favorite movies this is my favorite movie or heck even when you make a statement, this is my least favorite movie. It's a pretty broad statement that you have to make sure that that is 100% true of what you're saying. And I 100 fully 100% agree and believe that The Last Samurai is one of the best films ever made. This is a perfect movie from start to finish. It's exciting, it's eventful, but it's really mature and slow with its storytelling. And today I want to talk about why I think The Last Samurai is an extremely underrated movie and i really implore you to see it if you have not seen the last samurai this video will not contain any spoilers this is a spoiler free video i'm gonna talk about this film with no spoilery details because i want you to go into this film completely blind this video is just to encourage you to find out seek out the last samurai and watch it but before you watch it do not expect a war action movie yes is this movie a action war epic Yes, the, I guess in terms of genre, war is its genre. But please do not go into Last Samurai expecting a battle sequence every three seconds that lasts 55 hours and they're super engaging and engrossing. Which, by the way, the battle sequences in this film are extremely impressive and still hold up to this very day. But this is a movie about two different characters, Cruz's character and Watanabe's character, and how they're two different characters on two different sides of the spectrum. That's what this film is about. It's not about, oh, when can we connect in paling? We need some more palings, beheading. We need crews swinging a katana sword all over the place. And we need people being exploded and blown up into bits. That's not what The Last Samurai is about. That's not its main focus. That wasn't the director's Edward Zick, who eventually, in 2016, collaborated again with crews with John... Jack Reacher Never Go Back, which isn't a great film. It's pretty bad and disappointing, but it's okay. But this film is an incredible movie. That was not Edward Zick's main focus. He didn't make. Well, he wasn't focused to make a action war epic with Tom Cruise. He wanted to make a character study, and I'm about to talk about this film. So if you basically don't know the plot of The Last Samurai, it's basically, Cruz plays a soldier. He's a very broken down man physically. He's drunk. He doesn't have a lot of companion, and his honor is pretty much broken down. But when an army wants him to t make an army to, t to help him and train him to fight these men called the Samurais into battle, he eventually takes him into the woods to fight the Samurai in an incredible white knuckling literally white knuckling action battle sequence eventually he loses and pretty much his entire men besides Cruz gets completely obliterated but Cr Tom Cruise almost as dies until one of the samurai said no it's taken him to the to the village that is of course Ken Watanabe's character and they bond a friendship and Cruz learns to respect this culture and maybe learn and does learn to become a samurai this movie when you look at the plot and you look at the poster oh the last samurai they're talking about just Tom Cruise, and why is Tom Cruise always the, the A-man? Because he's big on the poster, because Tom Cruise was the big name of the poster. The Last Samurai is plural, means many other people. This isn't the Tom Cruise is the last character, or he's the last being. This is a group of samurai, because they're becoming an extinct race. And Tom and Tom Cruise's character and Ken Watanabe's character a lot of times talk about that the samurai are becoming a dying race, and how he's trying to keep this um, people in this, uh, I guess, religion, so to speak, alive. So this is not, oh, Tom Cruise is the last samurai. Last samurai in this case is plural, 
But let's talk about Tom Cruise. This might be Tom Cruise's best performance, if not at least one of his best performance. Tom Cruise is a great actor. He's my personal favorite actor. But you know what he is? He's a Muppet man who loves running, punching things, and knowing to do his own stunts. And he loves to smile. That's his best. This, Collateral, Minority Report, and select few other films are the type of films where I don't see Tom Cruise. Even though I love all of Tom Cruise's films that I've seen personally, I always see, oh, that's Tom Cruise but it's not a bad thing. This film and some other films I just mentioned are films I don't see Tom Cruise. I see a broken down character who learns humility and who learns respect through this culture and he does a fantastic job. Ken Watanabe is also fantastic. This and Inception are two of my best performances, my favorite performances personally of Ken Watanabe that I've seen. He's great him and him and Cruz have a, a perfect chemistry and a, a, you buy their friendship, you buy the relationship that blossoms from scene to scene and it's a beautiful film. The film is gorgeously shot. Edward Zig directed the hell out of this film in all good reason. This is a gorgeously shot movie with excellent cinematography and camera and especially the music. This is one of the best soundtrack and sounding films ever. And also, let's talk about those war sequences. When there is a battle sequence, it is a marvelous sight to see. For as I can tell, there is minimum to pretty much no CGI in these battle sequences. The epic scope, getting all sorts of extras, just battling people to the minimum death. These are brutal, these are intense, and they're also emotion. These aren't emotionless action sequences where it's their mindless people getting hacked off. When characters die, and I'm not going to spoil, of course, this is a non-spoiler video, but characters do die. It's a heart-wrenching film to watch these battle sequences unfold. And this is an extremely long film. It's 2 hours and 35 minutes. So if you're expecting an action war film starring Tom Cruise, that's not really what this film is. On the surface, it can seem like that. But watching this film, please lay your expectations that this is a character study about two different men and how they come at two different sides of the spectrum and how they learn to work with each other and how they learn to respect both sides of the spectrum. That's what this movie's about. It's not about when can we ne get next to the big bloody sequence. It's about these characters and how they can build and work with each other and I think it's perfect. The Last Samurai is one of my personal favorite films. It's emotional, it's exciting, it's heart-wrenching, it's one of my personal favorites and I'm gonna give The Last Samurai, of course, deserves an A+. I please implore you, this video has done anything. My main um, purpose with this video is to implore you to watch The Last Samurai. It's one of my favorites. If you put your expectations properly, you'll not be disappointed. So those are my thoughts on The Last Samurai. If you have seen the film, what do you think? Let's know my thoughts down in the comments section below. If you guys like these videos, you can hit the like button and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys know when I upload another video. You can check out my podcast. I always link in the description box below. We talk about movies, TV shows, trailers, news with a friend of mine. It's called The Movie View Podcast. And you guys can check out my Instagram at GeneralScoDaniel77. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. General La.